them. So a little while ago, maybe like a month or two ago, I did a video about making Play-Doh. And I did my favorite Play-Doh recipe. Well, the Play-Doh has been sitting here in a bag in my kitchen since then. And um, I thought before it goes bad, let's do a project with it. So if you find a Play-Doh recipe that you like, and actually I got another, got some purple here too. So I'm actually just gonna like mix these two together. Um, but anyway, I thought we can use this and make a volcano. Now I've done some other volcano experiments on some of these videos, but I haven't done like a volcano volcano, like a shape of a volcano. So I'm going to take my Play-Doh. So you can make some Play-Doh too, or some salt dough. Um, there's lots of recipes online. And like I said, I did make a video. I don't remember when, but at some point um, recently I made a video about my favorite Play-Doh recipe. So you might wanna get like a glass or a cup, probably not a glass if children are working on this because you don't want it to break. Um, or you can use like a water bottle and you wanna help use that to kind of help you form your volcano. Let's see, you probably can't see me. Well, let's lower this a little bit more. Here we go. Can you see that a little better? Perfect. All right, let's see, move that up. So you want to take your Play-Doh and form it around your cup and mold it into the shape of a volcano. Now, this would probably be worth, like look better if I had more Play-Doh than this, but this shall be good enough, I think. All right, so if you can see, I'm just kind of forming along the sides. Don't mind the purple bit. That's where I just mixed in the purple. And here's the other side, so I'm still kind of squashing it together. And this, this is a lot of fun. You get to sculpt it. There we go. So this is kind of how a real volcano looks. And I wish I had a picture of a real volcano right now to show you, but if you do this project, check out um, some videos on other YouTube channels about volcanoes and you can see actual volcano eruptions and you maybe can see some lava. Um, that way you have an idea of what a real volcano looks like and how it looks when it erupts. All right, there we go. My volcano looks pretty decent. And if you wanna take it another step, and if you have brown paint or black paint, um, or if you wanna make any, whatever color volcano, it's your volcano. If you wanna make a purple volcano, make a purple volcano. If you wanna make a blue one, make a blue one. You can get some paint if you have paint and you can paint it. That would work too. Um, so what's gonna happen next? I'm gonna let this harden because right now the Play-Doh's still mushy and the volcano won't, eruption wouldn't be as cool. Um, we need to make sure that this hardens first. So after this hardens, I will return and we'll make a volcano eruption. All right, so I let the volcano sit overnight. So now it is hardened. And um, if you wanna paint it, you can. I decided not to paint mine because I just didn't want to. All right, next up, we need some food coloring and some vinegar. So I'm gonna just add a couple drops of red so that I have red lava coming out of my volcano. And then you wanna get some baking soda and then you wanna put a whole bunch down there into the glass. So I'm just pouring, 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 pouring. Um, I never measure it. So parents, if you're looking for an estimate, I don't know, about a cup, maybe? A cup or so of baking soda. I probably should open that up a little bit more so it comes out. There we go. All right, that should be good. All right. And can we grab some soap? Because as you may have seen in a couple other my volcano experiments, when you add soap, your eruption gets even bubblier, which is really cool. All right, let's see. I think, so you know, let me grab a spoon, just so it's mixed a little bit better. All right, there we go. All right, are you ready for the volcano eruption? Here we go, count it down. Five, four, three, two, one. 
<laughs> so fun. Woo. Oh, that's so cool. That is so fun. Wow, look at that. I'm going to stop because it's about to overflow over the pan. Keep in mind, use a deeper pan or tray when doing this experiment. Now it's starting to slow down. And then the foam does start to settle. So when it settles down a bit, you can launch it again. Woo! This is really cool. This is a lot of fun. I highly recommend this if you have the time. So there you go. There is our volcano. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>